I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question based on arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression. I like you to pause the video, copy the question and solve and then look into my solution. The question here is find the middle term of the sequence formed by all the three digit numbers which leave a remainder three when divided by four. Also find the sum of all the numbers on both sides of the middle terms separately. So I hope you understand the question. We are looking for multiples of 4 which leave the remainder 3 and we are looking for 3 digit numbers. right? So what could be these numbers? So, so these numbers are between 100 and 1000, correct? Now if you look into this series, 100 is a multiple of 4, 1000 is a multiple of 3, 4, but we need with remainder of 3. That means the numbers are 103, right? So, so the numbers should be 103 and then keep on adding 4 to it, right? So 107, 111 and so on, correct? The last number will be 999, one less than the multiple of 4. So if the number is 1 less than multiple of 4, then the remainder is 3. Perfect. Now in this series, we know A is equal to 103 and D is equal to 4, right? since the common difference is 4. How many are number of terms? That is the second thing, correct? We know first term and the last term. Number of terms Tn could be found by the formula A plus N minus 1 times T. Right? So the last term here is 999. First term is 103. We need to find what is N minus 1 and D is 4. So we can easily find by doing 999 minus 103 divided by 4 is equal to N minus 1. Correct? So let's use our calculator to find this answer. 999 minus 103 divide by 4 is equal to 224. That is n minus 1. So n will be equals to 224 plus 1. So n is 225. Correct? So that is one way of finding it, of course. Another way could, could have been we could have divided 100 by 4, right? So, so those are 25. And if I divide 1000 by 4, then we get 250, correct? And 250 minus 25 gives us 225. So this was alternate method to find the number of terms. Either way, we find that the total number of terms are 225. Right, so, so n is 225. So 225 is odd number. So the middle term will be what? Middle term will be 225 plus 1 divided by 2. Right, so 226 divided by 2, so which is 113. So the middle term is 113. Now, one part of this question is also find the sum of all the numbers on both sides. First, we have to find, find the middle term, right? So T113 will be, well, substitute. Now we know what A is. A is 103 plus term number 113 minus 1 times D, which is 4. So let's use the calculator, find the answer. So we have 103 plus 112 times 4. So that gives you 551 as the middle term. Perfect. Now how do you find the sum of terms? So that means we have to find sum of all the terms before it and after it, right? So we have to find what is sum of 112. So we can use the sum formula, which is Sn equals to n over 2 
times 2a plus n minus 1 times t. Correct. So, 112 divided by 2, 2 times first term is 103 plus n minus 1. We want 112 as n, so it will be 111 times d, which is 4 for us. Correct. So, we can calculate this answer. So let's calculate this. So let's do the bracket first. We have 2 times 103 plus 111 times 4 equals 2. We'll multiply this by 112 and then divide by 2 to get the sum, which is equal to 36400. Perfect. So that is how you find sum of 112 terms, the first half. Now, how do you find the sum of the later half? Now, let us see how to find the sum of all the numbers which are on the other side of the center value. So, what we can do is we know there are total 225 terms. So, we can find sum of 225 terms, right? So, which will be 225 divided by 2, 2 times A, which is 103, plus 1 less than 225, so straight away I'm writing 224 times 4. Let's calculate this value. So we have 2 times 103 plus 224 times 4. We'll divide this by 2 and then multiply by 225 to get this sum. This sum is 1, 2, 3, 9, 7, 5. Correct? Now, what is the sum of the later half? So, the sum of the later half, let me write like this, should be sum of 225 terms minus sum of the first half, which is 112 terms, minus the middle term, which is 113. Is it okay? So, that means 1, 2, 3, 9, 7, 5, minus what we found earlier, 3, 6, 400, 3, 6, 400, minus middle term which is uh, equal to middle term was 551 here it is 551 correct so we already have this total sum so from this we'll take away 36400 minus 551 to get the later half which is equal to let me push this a bit right so that gives you equal to 87024 correct so that is how we could actually get the answer for the later halves, right? So, so the values which we have used is the middle term, which is 551. The sum of the first half, the total, which was this much, and the formula, right? So get the later half. So that is how you could actually solve this question. So I hope these steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.